Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to continue to make some embellishments for our greeting cards or scrapbooks, journals, uh, mini albums, or anything else that you'd like to make. Um, basically I just call these embellishments. Some people call them clusters. Some people call them, you know, whatever. I just call them embellishments. That's To me that's all they are. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start pulling some things out that I think I can work with um, to create little clusters, um, embellishments, you know, what else? Okay. So I'm going to do pairs because as you guys might remember from yesterday's video, I am trying to make sure to do things in, um, sets of two. That way, um, when I create a set, I can, um, I can make two available of those sets. Okay. And then that worked out pretty perfectly. Okay. So I'm just going to grab, let's see. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're just going to put our pairs back together and just pull from the top. Okay. And I grabbed the little tiny hearts. If you guys remember from my last haul video, um, I did. I got some cut apart or cut die cut hearts from Target. And these are actually pretty sturdy. It's kind of like, uh, it feels like poster board. So I'm going to grab these two here. That's actually really pretty. Let's go with the pink and we are going to do a lot of pink red combination because the paper that I have is pink and red. So we're just going to put those there and I'm going to be using a lot of Fabri-Tac probably in this collection of videos that we're doing. All right, just going to put that there. And these are, um, they're round, so there's not really a right and wrong. It's just kind of how you want the heart to sit after you start adding other elements to it. Okay. And right now I'm just putting the the curved part of the heart against the outline of the rounded shape. So I think I want to set these, actually I think I'd rather have them like that. And these are some little squared doilies that I recently purchased. Um, I do have other doilies available in my shop. I do not have these specifically. Um, if I get an overwhelming interest, then I might gather some up and put them in the shop. As of right now, I just have them available to me. Because I, I normally use like the smaller bits to make clusters and flowers and such like that. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. Okay. All right, and then we can add different elements to make it more Valentine's-y, or we could just leave it as simple as that. And then from there, we can add elements as we are decorating the cards themselves. So it would kind of sit, like, depends on how you want the orientation. I haven't decided that on some of these. A lot of them, I just made the card bases. That was it. So if you want it like this, it could just be a simple greeting card like that with no sentiment, or you could push it up and make a sentiment down here, or you could do it like this and add a sentiment here. You know, there's really no limit to what you could be doing with these things. So let's go ahead and set those aside and grab another one. And I think I'm going to go with this side. 
And we've got a couple more red. So I just want to make sure that the heart is orientated uh, the same way on both sides because they're stripes. So I think we can go just like that. Okay, and you can actually have this hang off a little bit. And hang off a little bit here. There we go. So again, you can either have it just like that, or you can have it like this. So those are done. And like I said, you don't have to be like super complex with these because we're just making simple elements. We're not making super complex, you know, nothing crazy or anything like that. I really like how this one is split. Um, I think with this one, I'm going to add a flower petal. And I got these also from the Dollar Tree. You can get like a big old huge bag for a dollar. They're pretty cool. And you can add them just about to anything. I'm just going to put it in the middle and see what happens. It might be completely covered up. I have no idea, but we're going to see what happens. It might just be a waste of glue, but you know, maybe it won't be. All right. Kind of like it over here, too. Um, let's put you like that. So it looks like I'm getting about two of every color with these little bitty hearts. All right. Okay. All right, let's see. Um, got some doilies here. I like that. See if we can find another one of those. Um, so I have the same thing as this, but bigger back behind me and more open. So I can just throw that at you guys, you know, that would be really good and helpful. All right. You can use hot glue for this as well. I just use Fabri-Tac. I use Fabri-Tac pretty much whenever I can. All right. Um, let's see. Are you going to be big enough? Hmm, I don't think so. All right, let's see. What else do we have for? I really don't want to put metal in here because this is for people to mail off. So let's see what's in here. So I want to try to keep these as lightweight as possible because when you start adding things like metal, you're adding weight. And if it goes over an ounce, then you have to add more postage. My goal is to have people have nice, pretty, handmade valentines that they can send their families and loved ones. Not make their life miserable by adding postage. 
Oh, wait. What is, where are you? What are you? Oh, aren't you cute? It's just a little paper. Oh, it's not the same one. Huh. They're cute, though. All right, where did I get you? Can I get more of you? Hmm. Yep, I can't get more of you. Okay, give me a second. You came from that. I believe. Blue. Uh, and this came from the authentic uh, Valentine's paper line from 2020. I will punch out the rest of those later. And that is like my favorite kind of fussy cutting, the kind that I don't have to do for the record. Okay. I am getting better at, you know, not minding so much the fussy cutting, but... All right, there we go. And then again, you can have this sitting however you want to orientate it. And it's simple and clean. Okay. And then where's my other ones? Come out. Come out, you. Okay. So again, just make sure that we're orientating that properly. Um, ooh, what are you? Oh, I know what you are. Um, nope. Flawless. Flawless. Let's do that. And then we'll add some teal. This is actually not teal at all. Um, this is just blue. <laughs> Dude, I've got like teal on the brain, I swear. Because anytime anyone sees any color that's even remotely close to teal, and I mean like it has blue and green in the hues somewhere, it's teal. And I'm like, nah, dude, <laughs> that's turquoise. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> or, nah, dude, that's seafoam green. Calm down. <laughs> but it's teal. Anything that has blue and green, it's teal. I've had people call mint. Feel. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, dude. Whatever you say. Okay, so I really like that. And I'm just going to go straight across that heart. like that. Now this will have to sit like this because it's not going to be big enough to sit like this. I'd have to cut the petals off and I don't want to do that. So Okay. Ah. Ooh, I wonder if I can't put glue all over the place. There we go. Okay. All right. Wonder. Come here. Come here, you. That's really cute. Okay. Now put a little dot. Put a little dot. Of glue it there and there and there and there. And I hope it doesn't dry up before I can get them all stuck down. This doesn't help. Okay. There you go. 
Get off my finger. Get off my finger. But you see how I'm taking it off of the plus or the sticky part. That way I'm just using my own adhesive. There are remnants that like to stick around, but for the most part, I'm just using my own adhesive, not the sticky part of that. All right, there we go. And voila, now we have two of those. I really like these. Those turned out super cute. All right, so this one, it's actually a really nice card. Let's see, what can we do with this? Mm -hmm. That is probably too much. Nope. 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 Okay. Nope. All right. So these are all cards, really big cards. So let's not use those. Mm hmm. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. And a flower. And keep smiling. Now you're really pretty. Don't worry, be happy. Hello, gorgeous. Kind and sweet. Do I have another? Hello, gorgeous. Flawlessly authentic. <laughs> Strength, lace, and a whole lot of grace. I'm not sure that I would put this on Valentine's cards or on cards that I sell because it's got, you know, balls and panties, but I mean, it's cute. Beautifully broken, perfectly imperfect, and beautiful in my flaws. I like that. That is nice. Um, falsely authentic. All right, I've got another one of those. Okay. So, where did my. There they are. Wait, what just happened? Oh, okay. All right, so let's use how much of that can I cover up? Not enough of it. All right, so I'm going to go with this and
like that. Come out. Come on, you. Let's see if we can't find something to go with this. Um, butterflies are pretty awesome. We could do butterflies. And it matches the colors really well. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so let's put you back over here. And we're gonna we're gonna put some more glue on glue on you because that is not adequate. And same thing here. I want these two last. There we go. And there we go. All right, let's see what we got. So we have got these two and let's grab Oy, not you. Let's grab our cards here, our, our, our card demo, to show you kind of what each one will look like if it were to be placed on a card. Like I said, you can make these for anything. They don't have to be for greeting cards. You can make these just to have on hand. So a lot of people have asked me, like, how do you have so many embellishments, like ready-made embellishments on hand? Well, because I make them. But I also buy them because I like to support other artists as well. Um, I do buy them, but I also make them. And this is how. Um, so we actually did quite a few today. I don't want to lose you. Go back over there. All right. So again, this particular orientation can go this way or this way. Okay. So this one here can go just like that. Okay. Or like that. So that was the one set. This is probably my favorite. I love the simplicity of this and the elegance and just the cleanness of them. I love it. And I like the message. So there's the second set. And then the third set. set and the fifth set so in 20 minutes we made 20 or 10 embellishments so I'd say all in all not bad my friends not bad at all so I hope you guys join me in making some embellishments for yourselves for this upcoming spring and and loving season. Oh, you know what? Oh, wait, I did do all of them. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. I forgot the gems on one of these, but I did not. They're there. They're on both of them. Hmm. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.